To be able to clean and sanitize and prevent bacteria from growing, we need the correct chemicals and equipment. The next requirement is that equipment be clean and in a good condition. All cleaning equipment, which includes mops, brooms and mops buckets, should be clean and in a good condition and stored in a clean area that prevents cross-contamination, such as a wall rack. Dedicated cleaning cloths, different from those used to wipe off a sanitizer or handle hot equipment, is needed. These cloths should be cleaned and in a good condition, and no muslin cloths or paper towel can be used for cleaning purposes. SABS registered chemicals are required, and there are also special requirements for the sanitizers to be registered with the NRCS, the National Regulator for Compulsory Regulations. Sufficient stock of the required chemicals must be available in order to prevent running out of supply. We would recommend a spare set of a 25 litre or 5 litre containers be kept for emergencies. The sanitizers must be dispensed into spray bottles, labelled and adjusted to emit a fine mist. Your chemical supply should include a dishwasher detergent, dishwasher rinse aid, machine descaling chemical, crockery destainer, a manual scullery detergent, QAC sanitizer, a chlorine based sanitizer as well as a spec tank. A multi-purpose cleaner, degreaser, floor cleaner, liquid hand soap and hand sanitizer gels. So how to implement clean as you go? Use a multi-purpose cleaner, wipe off with a clean cloth, use a sanitizer in a fine mist spray, leave on for 2-5 to five minutes, leave to dry or wipe off with paper towel, and remember, if there is no cleaning step, you cannot sanitize correctly.